guys, welcome to a new chord mashup. If you don't know what chord mashup is, we pick two different themes and we put together a chord in it according to that. Last month it was pyjama and angels. So I'm going to review your coordinates based on that topic and we'll pick two new themes and then I'll put together one and then you will do that and this time you have so much time because I'm going to the US this summer and I won't be there before September so this whole time you'll have the whole summer to make the perfect coordinates so let's go here's my coordinates it was elegant nighty by Angela Pretty then we have Anais, forest song, muslin pyjama with beautiful lace. The hearts with the little bows and the lacing on the front of the top make these pyjamas very Lolita. The wings are earth brand and the halo is handmade. So next we have Patrick. I thought this dress fit the theme the most of my dresses. The background turned out so well. I thinking it would be a print, I would buying it. I love it. Then we have Sarah. I just thrifted this bed jacket the week before the theme was announced. I'm wearing an eye mask as a headdress, BTSSB Shearing Princess JSK. Under it I'm wearing a stripped pink top, which kind of reminded me of PJs. Two wings clip on the collar, hard to see, and OTK's pink stripped socks. I didn't have any cute slippers, so these are just what I had in the house. Next we have Prince. I have a lot of angels themed prints, but the pyjama theme stumped me. I thought maybe I could use one of the Cherub's t-shirt and chiffon pants. Then after joking around with Lady Tinker Frills, I got the inspiration to decorate an old unused sleeping mask, made a toothbrush necklace and go for going to bed theme themed cult party cake cord. This was a great excuse to wear comfy house slippers outside. Then we have Chen, Lady Tinker Frills. I try some cozy angel look with my fuzzy vest and a fluffy rabbit sleeping mask. Sadly, no makeup because I was lazy, quiet in the theme. And Chen requested some constructive criticism. By the way, I think I will stop doing constructive criticism. First, because I can never pronounce that correctly. And, no, maybe secondly, is because I'm really not good at it, I guess. And a lot of people don't request it. So if you really want me to keep doing it, write it in co the comments. But I probably will just drop that ID and um, let me know what you think. What I would say is that it's actually a great Lolita coordinate. I cannot really see the shoes. They seem a bit casual for Lolita, but definitely it works perfectly with the pyjama theme. The only thing I would say maybe is I would have gone less accessories and maybe less, uh, no bags, because it's supposed to be pyjama, relax and everything. But I also, also put, did put a lot of accessories because you want to make a cord. It's really like the balance between a right Lolita coordinate and fit in the theme. So I think the coordinate as a Lolita coordinate is very fun and I like adding like Nomi stuff like the, the fluffy jacket and the eye mask is very cool. So good job. Then we have Ashleyan. I sewed a short pink dress and long bloomers as pajamas, made a matching sleep mask as a head accessory, matching lace wrist cuffs as an accessory, to angel it up, I made white sparkle wings and a silver and white halo. I added silver shoes to match the halo, no socks, since, since it's PJs. So you have seen, it's on a doll, but it's very cute and very Lolita. I love that. There's the wrist cuffs and everything, so good job. I'm really impressed. Next, we have Stephanie. I made my own take on Morikei sleepwear, including a robe, with wing-like sleeves and a lace headband to match the angel prompt. Also in the photo is a statue of a feline angel. Okay, uh, Stephanie also asked for constructive criticism, but I'm really not good at Morike. Uh, I love the, the, the robe with the angels, it's very cool. I think it looks very, very Morike for me. What I would say is that the PJ's bottom in the third picture, the black one, maybe is a little too dark and not really matching the, the rest of the colors of the thing. So that was the only thing that I might change by um, maybe a 
cream or ivory colored uh, pyjama bottom. And maybe also I would leave the, the hair um, wide, but maybe a lot of people with long hair do um, braids to sleep, so maybe that's, that's the good thing to do. And last we have Marianne who participated in a past cord mashup, but if you want to do that too, feel free to ask me, I can send you all the past frames and do that, so don't worry if you missed the deadline. So Marianne participated in the blue and deer uh, challenge, and she said, since I had no prints with deers, I decided to sew some antlers and layered a few dresses to get this winter themed cord. The picture was taken a while ago and I just forgot to send it in time. Yeah, there's a whole vlog of that day uh, with Marianne. So go check it out, I will link it there. That was it for your entries. Now let's pick the new theme that will occupy you guys for the whole summer. There's quite a many left, I guess. So we can, I guess we can finish this year with that too. So the first one is winter. <laughs> oh my God. You have all summer to make a winter coordinate. I'm sorry. Oh, maybe a lot of people in uh, Australia and New Zealand will be super happy. So, and the next one is animal. So I think that Marianne could just reuse the exact same coordinate <laughs> and repost it, just change the, the title. Okay, I think Animal and Winter can definitely be an easy theme. A lot of people have um, animal prints, you can do basically anything. And Winter, you just have to add a lot of fluff <laughs> to your things and uh, very thick accessories and everything. We'll see, okay, so me, I can definitely do something with winter and animal. Let's do that. So let's go through all my winter dress. I don't have that many and I think all of them have animals. So let's see what I can do. Sugar Dream Dome, this is my first brand dress. I love it so much even though it's lavender. It has snow bunnies, bears, horses, that's it. That's a lot of animals already. So this is Queen of Snow, Fragrant of Eternity, I Hid in a Snow Globe by Baby the Star Strand Bride. And I just used it last time for Blue and Tears, so let's not use it. And I think I might have it used it for another good mashup or so, I'm not sure. But let's not take this one. And my last winter dress is Lovely Snow Fantasy by Angelic Pretty. And I think I used it for Apple and edible, so definitely I will not use it again. And I think I have not done a corn mashup yet with this dress and it's the most snowy because of the fur. Also this one exists in a fur version and I loved it, but not in the mint colorway. So unfortunately I had a different cut. Let's use this. I've tried a lot of different things with this dress. Uh, I think I have it with pink. I've never done navy blue. There's like navy blue here, but I do not have a lot of very thick blouses. I mean, so, okay, let's look at the obvious choice for winter. The most obvious one would be this blouse from, I'm not even sure where actually. So it's just very thick. You have uh, velvet inside of it and it's very thick. Basically, I could be in winter outside with that, it's perfect. But then when I go inside, then I'm really, really hot. So it's really not the best. This could work. Let's see the color and everything. It could work, but it's very, such a basic coordinate. I don't know if I want to go this way. This is too easy. Also, I, like I said, I tried many different things with this dress. I tried pink. I think I never tried navy. Let's just see for the sake of it. Will it be cute with navy? I think it would be so cute with navy. There's only very, very little navy at the bottom, but I could do something super cute. I don't know if I should like layer that and have a winter blouse and a shorter blouse on top of it. Probably the colors will be weird together. I don't know. I remember Cupcake Kamisama said, uh, I don't want to do winter themed coordinates with like super light 
blouses, it doesn't make sense. In that case, I have the warmth, but I add just a bit of color. I think it would be interesting. At some point, uh, I think this would match a lot because there's also a lot of gold in it. So this would be nice. Like I said, pink and then lavender. Of course, I cannot do any lavender because the lavenders never match. This is why I hate them. Let me check. These are my lavender. Uh, this is okay -ish, but <laughs> really not the kind of blouse you want to do with a uh, furry JSK. And this one, definitely a totally different colorway, so no. And I would actually not do mint because there's no mint at all. But there's light blue, so also maybe not matching the theme of winter, but why not this blouse cut from to Alice? Why not? Why not? I think that uh, a sax with lavender could be cute. I don't have that much accessories, but definitely not for today. Um, Okay, but it's good to know. By the way, I'm so happy I got this super cute cut so uh, with clouds. It's so light and airy and so cute. Okay, and so the rest is ivory or mint, so no. You know what, I think I would try wearing that with this navy thing and then we can do some accessories in white, lavender and navy and I think it will add something a little bit to this coordinate that it would be a great coordinate if we just do white and lavender, but also I want to go outside of my comfort zone in uh, code mashup because just white and that, I have the accessories that fit perfectly with everything and it's boring. So let's do it with navy if it works. Well, it does work like that, so let's see with the dress. This part here is a bit weird, but I don't really mind. I think I can put something here to hide it and I think I like it and for the sake of making a cooler more difficult uh, coordinate let's let's go with that I'm really warm already so this is definitely a winter coordinate so regarding wigs I feel that this pink wig will go with the dress because there is pink in the dress but we will already have navy lavender and white so I think I will go with a neutral wig so my choices are either these two, this is the more caramel one from Borderline and this is the exact same one, a blonde one from Lock Shop. Hmm. I think I like this one better maybe because it will make a little bit more darker and still, still neutral. Yeah, let's go with this one. I am a bit sad because this wig doesn't work to make the hurt like I usually do on my um, forehead, so that's very sad, but it's still a cute wig. Okay, let me show you the options for the head. So we could go with the head bow that goes with the dress, or I have this uh, fluffy headdress that's from another dress. It's actually the lovely Snow Fantasy, the one I have in uh, mint, but this is the lavender colorway and I actually bought it to go with this dress because I thought it works perfectly. It's actually the same colorway. It also has snowflakes and people don't really notice that it's a different print. So I could definitely do that. I love that very much. Or this. But uh, I have other options in other colors. There's this blue, navy blue velvet one that could be nice for winter, but I feel that there's not too much contrast. So maybe we'll do another color headdress and add other navy accessories on it to add navy to the top. And there's this uh, a white headdress that I bought on AliExpress and I'm getting a lot of views from. I just love it so much. So why not that? But then we'll need to add a lot of lavender also to the head and I do not have that many lavender things. So I don't know, maybe not this one this time. Also I've used it a lot already, I think, for cord mashup. But it's so simple but so basic, but I love it so much. Another option is this uh, fluffy hat that I just used to make a Hello Kitty coordinate. I think it's super cute, it's super fluffy. I like that because I can actually 
layer stuff on it. So I have done also this sometimes uh, to have it very fluffy and add that. But then I guess if we do that, we cannot really add more. It's difficult to add more bows on things like that here. So I think I will go just that and add the pom-pom ears in navy. Okay, let's try and add these two here. Yeah, I think it's so cute. I have them in all colors, so now very often I add that to any of my head bows. I like that very much, it's very cute. Okay, uh, I wish I had those pom-pom uh, earrings in navy I also at some point in Japan I bought some and the cat where I was staying at eat, <laughs> ate them because they were made of real fur, I guess, uh, from uh, bunnies maybe. And then <laughs> I could never save them. I think for the head we're good. Maybe I'll see in the end if I want to add more clips somewhere, but for now I think it's good. Oh, let me see if I can add that on top, maybe. Ah, it's very cute actually. Okay, it is cute and I think now I need to add a little bit more stuff here. Yeah, why not? Why not? Or well, maybe it would need some lavender here more than the navy. I don't know, it looks weird. I don't know with the bow here and here, here, it makes it like, I don't know, a helmet or something? Maybe like that, it's better. Oh, I had a flower. It's not really a flower theme, but why not? Yeah, maybe that's the less worth of the three. Now there is something that I want to try. I think that winter is very cool because you can put the capes. I have one that is pink, so I think it will not work, but I have this one that is white, but it hides everything under all the navy, so I think it's sad, but this one is very cute. But I have another one that I could never do anything with and it's my friend who bought that for her wedding and she gave that to me for Lolita and it was difficult to put it here because you see exactly why. So you cannot really put it like that, so I don't know. But I want to try and make an overskirt with that, can I? That would be nice. It looks a bit like, I would say, the dress of uh, Esmeralda in the Hunchback of Notre Dame. The two things. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know, it makes a weird shape and it looks more like I have tied uh, a sweater around my waist than actually the, the, the shape that of an overskirt that I want to do. So, unfortunately, I think I have to drop both IDs. Huh, what else could I do with that? Oh, an apron! Let me try and do an apron. Same, actually. The fact that the top is very big here doesn't really work. Ah, that's sad. I really wanted to use that. It was very cute. But to add more navy, maybe I can put my navy belt on. Let's see. I have this gorgeous belt from Ichigomiko that went with the dress, but I sold the dress, but I love the belt so much and I think it would be very nice. Yeah, let's try. Normally I put it on the side, but here I wanted to put it in the middle to hide the bow under and I think it adds a lot. I think I've used this belt also many times in code mashup already. So even though I do not wear a lot of navy, I still love this, this belt. I should see if actually I could find it in pink. I don't know, it's a Taobao dress, so it's... Uh, Definitely harder to find accessories from Taobao brands, but in pink that would be amazing. No, wait, I'm not even sure this dress exists in pink, so maybe not, I don't know, but this is definitely something that I use a lot in my wardrobe. But it is so, so tight, it's ML, it's already tight for me, but plus the dress, plus the bow, plus the super thick blouse, Definitely, I, it's very hard to breathe. So I would not go outside for that, just for photos. Okay, I'm happy because I added something more here. Maybe I can add a white, oh yeah. I have this very cute accessory that I had made. So would be great here, I think. Absolutely. 
Maybe I still needed something here. We'll see the wrist cuffs. I have those that I'm always wearing with the dress. I bought it at Closet Child at the same time. They're also from Angelic Pretty, but they're not matching specifically this dress. It's just that it matches with the dress so much, and I think because it's fluffy, the people who wore it with the dress. But I think the white on white is a bit sad because you don't really see the fluff on the white. So... Let's see if I can find the blue ones that are longer. Like either I put it on top and I have more navy that comes out, which is not a bad idea any in any case. But if I put it under, then we'll lose the, the fluff. And so that's also sad. And since it's so thick, it makes a weird shape. So I think we'll need to keep the fluff next to the white blouse. I'm not even sure I can tie it because it's also very tight. Those are actually the things that I'm looking forward to go to Closet Child in Japan to find small accessories because you would not want to uh, pay shipping and taxes and everything for small accessories uh, like wrist curves or head bows um, unless it's like something that you're really looking forward to uh, like for like the head bow that goes with the dress that you already own or something but buying cute socks or cute uh, wrist curves at Glossy Child is something perfect uh, when you're in person because it doesn't cost extra so I'm really looking forward that Japan opens the border again so we can go visit. Okay, so this is my cuffs. I think it's great. Let's look at the shoes first. Then we'll see which tights will go with the shoe. I do not have lavender shoes. So it's either navy fluffy shoes or these from l and I don't know actually which brand this is. So these white shoes. Um, they're cute with gold and accessories and everything. None of these really say winter, so I think we could go with either. I do not have any lavender tights that would work with that anyways. So it's either something white and those uh, navy uh, shoes or something navy and those white shoes. So let's see options because at that point I'm not sure. So I have these tights, uh, there is some gold on the print, but not really, really matching. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to do animal theme. We'll see maybe with the, the accessories, like jewelry, I have maybe more animals. We'll see. Those here, there is a bird, so maybe I could do something with animal. Yeah, so that could be an option. And there's also white, so white and gold in this. So it would actually match quite well because there's also stars and gold and everything on the shoes. So why not? But I did not add, oh yeah, this gold here and here. Yeah, I think, I think this could be a viable option. Okay, other options are just plain white tights that could work, but also the bottom of the dress is white. So if you go with the white just after, maybe it's a bit sad. So maybe let's clash a little bit with navy. And also those are my go-to winter socks that are actually not that fluffy. And uh, they're just uh, shiny, but there's silver on it. And really we do not want that. If I ever find these in gold, that would be perfect because they do exist in gold. I think this option is better and also more ornate and everything than these shoes are too simple and tights too simple. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, for accessories, I have many options for earrings. So I could go with fluffy white pom-pom or fluffy lavender pom-pom that is not the same tone, so no. Or long fluffy lavender in white pom-pom. Let's see. It's a bit too long, I think. So I think I will go with the white or I have those snowflakes. Oh, why not? Why not? It's really winter and those fluffy, uh, I use them for not winter. And so, okay, let's do these. Then 
I wanted to add something here and I took some chokers, but I don't think that chokers are actually the good thing to go, so maybe not. But if I want a necklace, uh, we want to focus on animal. There's not that much except on the print, so I think we should do some animals somewhere else. Let's see. I have this handmade uh, necklace that I made with keychain from Disney, but it's pink. So this coordinate doesn't have pink. Uh, other, I have this unicorn from BB&B Deco. It's white and I love it because it's it could be mint and pink, but it's also white and uh, gold. I'm so sorry. So I think it could work. I think it could work, and it, technically an animal. Uh, the other option is these Rilakkuma stickers, snow globe thing that I handmade. And I think it's cute and I've never worn it. So it's gold, the snow globes and animals. So maybe I think I will use this one instead. And I have those snowflakes here, but there's no other uh, socks thing in the, tr in the coordinate. I have this ring that is a uh, bear, but also no pink. I mean, this in the dress, but not in my court. Hmm, okay, so I have this ice cream that is lavender, but it's a bunny and it's an ice cream and lavender, but it's not the right lavender and also ice cream. And also I have this other ring from Atelier and I'm not sure if it would work. There's also gold, so we, yeah, maybe. This is this one, but there's no animal at all, but at least I'll have something on my finger. Oh, and I also found that from Entomophobia. This is just a brooch. I wish it's also a clip, I could put it somewhere else, but maybe this is just the thing I needed here to make it less weird, so let's do that. So in the end, I could not find that many animals except here. And I'm an animal. I'm a little bear like here, yeah, maybe. And definitely on the print and on the tides. So I think it will qualify for winter and uh, animal. And I think that this blouse kind of works. Why not? It's cute. Oh, I could have done also like the, the navy OP under it to make longer sleeves. Why not? Maybe I could have done that and then I would not have had that issue here. But I'm way too lazy to remove everything and change the base. So I'm not going to do that and I'm going to go with layering a shorter blouse on top of a big thick blouse. Why not? Let me know if you would have changed anything, like when I picked something or something else. Let me know if you would have gone for another of the options that I suggested. Do you like this coordinate? Write it down in the comments and I want you to participate. Because usually uh, what I do is I d used to do it like one every month. So by the time I filmed the video and, edit and edited it, you had like two to three weeks to do it. Now you have. I'm filming this end of April, so May, June, July, August. You have four months to make this coordinate, so there's no excuse. In the description, you'll find the link to submit fluffycarriagecom slash court.mashup. You have until the end of August 2022 to make your coordinates, animals and winter. So I want to see your coordinates and if you click here you'll see all the past chord mashups that we have done if you click here you will see the shorts of just the coordinates so if you don't have time click here thank you so much for watching and remember everybody can be kawaii bye bye